So it's time for progressive lenses, huh? You're in for a lot of fun. Well, maybe not so much, but there are a few rules you'll want to keep in mind if this is your first time ever wearing progressives. First of all, the right lens choice matters. Hopefully your optician, whoever that is, did take care of that for you. The first time isn't as big of a deal because fortunately, most people getting into their first progressive are at a lower ad power. They're doing it earlier in life. And that's becoming earlier and earlier as we have new lens developments like the anti-fatigue. So we won't get into those right now. There are other types of progressives with a special purpose. Tons of those out there, but that's not what this is for. So the first time wearing a progressive lens, assuming everything is done properly, the lenses are fitted well, both the prescription where the lens is in the frame and for your purposes and uses, you're gonna have a good time. The first few days are gonna be a little bit weird. Some people it can be up to a few week adaptation, but that's pretty rare. Unless you are really late into getting into progressive lenses, you're starting right off the bat with that full 250 ad power. Then it's a little bit more rough, I hate to tell you, but you'll get used to it. It's just gonna be a little bit more of a struggle. The big number one rule, put the glasses on first thing in the morning, wear them from then on. You will hate me by the end of the day. But that's the best thing to kind of kickstart that adaptation. It helps your brain get used to seeing that new prescription, first of all. Second, it helps you learn a little bit more quickly how the progressive lens works. And speaking of that, the way progressive lenses work, since this is probably gonna be a lot of first time wears, hope it is anyway, right? The top part of the lens, basically everything from the pupil down about two to four millimeters, depending on the specific lens design, and everything above that is gonna be the far off distance. Everything out there in the pretty little world around you, that's how you're gonna see most of the things you interact with, right? Then the way a progressive works is exactly what its name sounds like. It gradually progresses in ad power from Again, depending on the lens design, two to four millimeters below the pupil. There's some designs out there that are six. Fairly unusual to find those, but they're around. Anyways, back on point. So from that point below the pupil, that power is gonna gradually increase down to the bottom of the lens, usually over about an additional six to eight millimeters, which leaves you that bottom section right in there for the near zone. Everything in between there is that graduated change. Now, some lenses will ramp that up and they'll kind of hold it steady for a little while. Most of the modern lenses, you're gonna get a 60% increase pretty quick in that lens, and that's designed because we do so much out at arm's length anymore, right? We're on the computers, the mobile phones, all that sort of stuff all day long. So we need that out at arm's length in the lens quick so it's easy. You know, you don't have to move your head around to hunt and find that sweet little spot there too much. Speaking of that sweet little spot, so the way that channel works, it is a fairly narrow field down below into the near zone, which kind of hourglasses out a little bit in most lens designs. Again, there's some out there that are a little bit different, so it's going to vary depending on exactly what you're fit in. But the overall rules are the same, and that's kind of what we're focusing on here. So the main thing when you bring your phone in right here, exactly like this. You're gonna keep your head up, and I know this is a terrible angle, but bear with me. You're gonna keep your head up and eyes will be looking more out of that middle, lower part of the lens. That's gonna get you in that ad zone. You don't wanna try and look over here, or over here, or swing side to side, because then we're all gonna get dizzy, just like I am watching that. <laughs> oh, too much fun with this one, guys. So those are kind of the no-nos. The other one is steps. Oh, you're gonna love this because now everything down there is distorted. If you just drop your eyes down, it's blown up, brought up, magnified, all that sort of stuff that nobody likes, right? Eventually your brain can kind of get used to that and you can do without having to drop your head and look down at your feet. But at least initially, bear with me that first few days, up to a couple weeks hopefully you're not one of those but again it happens but that first very little bit with a progressive when you're getting used to it it feels weird and woozy and wonky and by the way anybody that tells you there's no adaptation with your progressive lenses walk away it's physics i'm sorry but 
on those steps, you'll want to actually turn your head down so you're looking out of the distance part or at least the intermediate part of the lens so you're not getting a lot of that blown up magnification making it look like the stairs are right there in front of your face because who wants to miss a step going downstairs, especially the long narrow stairs, am I right? Nobody wants that. You fall upstairs too, that's always fun. Keep your hands on the rails, just be careful with that at first. No trying to jump over the edge. <laughs> Not the first few days anyway. Do whatever you want later. Oh, goodness. And the same thing with reading. So once you get into that reading bottom part of the lens, this is the direction we're headed, right? We're going down through the lens. Now we're up to the near part of the lens. That's gonna be everything you do at about 10 to 14, maybe 12 to 16, depending on exactly what your prescription and ad power are. You're gonna fall somewhere within that range at that bottom, about four to eight millimeters of the lens. Again, depending on design, fit, a lot of different parameters. Not here to bore you with those details today. There's another video for that. We'll link that in a card up here. And the main thing I want you to take away from this is, yes, it's an adaptation, but it is well worth it because now you've got one pair of glasses that does a lot of things pretty well. There's more specialized lenses. Again, that other video gets into that a little bit more that do other things better, but they're task specific, not something you want to wear all day long. So now we're back in that near zone. We're looking out of the very bottom of the lens, right? Right here. And we're in at that 12 inch range. Again, a wonderful angle. You can see right at my nose almost. Uh, anyways, so same thing here. You'll have a little bit more range at the near zone, but again, you mostly want, if you're looking around, you want to point your nose and your head at what you're looking at because you want to stay in that central portion of the field, right? To keep it nice and crisp and clear and sharp and the world looking pretty everywhere you need it to. Now, yeah, actually that's really good. So that's kind of a good beginner's guide on where to start with a progressive lens. Now, yeah, I won't get into all that. So. That's a good beginner's guide. We'll stop there on that. If you've ever worn a progressive before and not been told these tips, sorry. <laughs> now you have been, you're welcome. And if you are one of the first time wearers that made it here, congratulations, good luck. You're gonna love the lenses once you get used to them, but you gotta get there first. So that's that. If you have worn progressives before, you've watched this video, you've never heard these tips, let me know about your first experience down below in the comments. I would love to hear that. I might even add it in another video in the future because I always love doing those sorts of things. But that aside, I will catch you guys next time. If you don't already, like, subscribe, follow along, all that good stuff. We'll see you next time.